I'm gonna tell you three common problems where people wasted their time by not knowing this about the support path in AutoCAD. So a couple of weeks ago, I received a call from a coworker at the office where I work and basically he wanted to know how to add fonts to AutoCAD. What happened was that he updated AutoCAD to the latest version, AutoCAD 2022, and he lost all of his settings, like fonts and more and all other settings. So I explained to him that in order to add these fonts inside AutoCAD, he could use the options inside this program. So some of the fonts that he wanted to add were the arch style or the HLLD. And as you can see, since these fonts are not in his AutoCAD program, he couldn't use them. So this will bring all, all other issues like, for instance, fonts going outside his title block and so on. So I explained to him that if he he can go to the options by typing op and use the support file search path to add some of his fonts by going here on the add and then browse he could go and look for the folder where he have all of his fonts in this case his fonts would be over here in fonts. So once he add this path, he added this path to the support uh, path and click apply and hit okay. It looks like nothing really happened, but it is because AutoCAD needed to refresh somehow. So I suggested him to close the AutoCAD program and reopen it. So this is a way for AutoCAD to kind of refresh and, and accept those new paths that my friend or coworker was implementing. So once he opened his AutoCAD back, he saw his new fonts took effect and he could pick now any of his favorite fonts. So that's the good habit of asking for help if you really need it. And actually, since we're talking about asking for help, that was one of the lessons that I learned the bad way when I remember I didn't know how to add hatch patterns in AutoCAD. This was many years ago when I just started working in the office, but I remember at that time I was new and I didn't know many AutoCAD concepts. So I was working on a building elevation, something like this. And basically I needed some stone or stack stone for my elevation. So I needed a custom hatch. And I remember that I went online and downloaded, you know, a couple of stone hatch patterns. But I remember I was wasting time trying to figure out myself how to add these custom hatches in my AutoCAD program. Luckily for me, there was a good coworker at that time and he explained to me that I could add custom hatches by going again to the option property, to the option dialog box and use the support file search path again. So here with the same idea by adding and browsing into the folder where the 
custom hatch was placed in this case over here custom hatches and simply adding that path on the support again the support file that will um, count or make AutoCAD look for the hatch but again the AutoCAD needed to be refreshed by closing it and reopen it so you can see the hatches inside the AutoCAD program. So when I try to when I try to hatch again and using the regular hatch command and I went to see if my custom uh, stone was there so I try to find it and if we go all the way down a stone start that's the hatch pattern that I needed at that time so I at this point, I could simply add it like so, and then change its scale, of course, to the appropriate at the appropriate scale as needed. But this was a this was a lesson that I learned that you should never be afraid of asking for help. So. This is how I actually learned to never be afraid to ask. And another person who wasn't afraid of asking was my boss, actually. An AutoCAD user with more than 20 years of experience who I remember didn't know how to add a plot style in AutoCAD, or maybe he just forgot. But he basically he had to restore uh, his AutoCAD because it was giving him some problems. So after he restored his AutoCAD program, at that time he needed to send, you know, some drawings to clients, but he couldn't. So this is how he again asked for help. And I explained to him that he could add his plot styles again by using the options dialog box. And this time I explained to him that he needed to add a path, but not to the support file, but to the printer support file path. So over here, there is an option to add a plot style. So once he again, click add and browse and went to find the folder, where his plot styles or CTV files were stored. These are called also CTV files because that's the extension that they have. Let me show you. So plot styles. So it has the CTV file extension. That's why some people call it plot styles or CTVs. But I explained it to my boss that once he added his plot styles and click OK, again, nothing will happen because once he tried to print and sometimes happened that he couldn't see his plot styles. But in this case, actually, AutoCAD was smart enough to recognize immediately those two uh, plot styles. So that's how he could fix the missing plot styles in his AutoCAD program. So after helping him with this problem, actually I remember he says, Luis, I own you a lunch. <laughs> so, but that's another story. So another, person who is never afraid to ask for help is you. So here's the video where your question was answered and I'll see you over there.